Hi everyone, it's Susie S for another Night of the Living Reviews and so tonight actually the movie I'm gonna watch uh, is a movie that's been recommended to me by my friend Arno and it's, it's uh, Grave Encounters as you could uh, see in the title of this video and so the plot is that a, um, a crew of a uh, ghost hunting reality TV show I am going to lock themselves into an abandoned, um, into an abandoned sanitarium, um, and so it looks like it's haunted, but it can also cannot be haunted. But of course, it is. I mean, just by reading the post, like, I mean, yeah, of course. Otherwise, they won't make a movie about it. Uh, from what Arno was telling me uh, when he told me about that movie, it it seems actually pretty good and like my kind of movie and uh, hopefully I'm actually going to like it and I will see you after that uh, I've watched it. A tape arrived in the mail. It was a, a pilot episode of a new reality series called Brave Encounters and it was by uh, no one so as you the can probably that, uh, see, it looks like it's like a documentary kind of thing. Uh, so maybe like a found footage kind of aura. And I think I've seen the actor in something else. From my recollection of his face, if it's actually him, he only plays bastards. So <laughs> yeah, let's see what it's actually about. So I've just finished um, watching Grave Encounters and I haven't realized how late it was when I started filming. I did the other video before and I started this one and now it's 2 o'clock uh, in the morning, that is. And so uh, because it's late and because I start to be a bit tired, uh, surprisingly or not, I'm going to try to make this quick. So I can uh, summarize this in a short version and three points. Beginning was like... Um, what are you trying to do now? Um, meh. Middle was meh. Okay, maybe it's good. Middle to the end was okay. I see what you're trying to do there. Start to like it. Start to find the movie interesting. The end's like okay, yeah, now I get it. Huh? It's a movie worth watching, maybe. Uh, so yeah, so that's what I um got back from this watching this movie it's definitely maybe worth watching i'm not sure actually uh it's an hour 30 ish uh it felt longer than that <laughs> it felt it felt pretty long uh maybe it's in a way it's kind of good because in the movie um like you heard me talk about it, it's um a uh, crew of a teacher who are trapped or trap themselves in a um, abandoned um, psychiatric hospital and the way throughout the night it feels like the time's going faster at some point it, start, it feels like the time's going slower uh, than it should and they start to go crazy so maybe you know in that way uh, in that sense it's uh, good that this movie feel like longer than it actually is. Uh, so in the beginning, they interview some some staff of the um, of the area and the um, caretaker as well. What well, and now that now that I say it, now what I found kind of weird is that if the place is abandoned, why is there stuff? Think about that for a second. Is the place has been abandoned? for a very long time why is there still staff attending the the place let's stay polite so yeah that now that i watched the movie this is kind of um that's fishy uh and also it's uh, obviously fake the thing that um that wrote down it's i mean like with all shows like that um in real life you can see how it's fake, it's like all the detail obviously and what, uh, watching it, I was like wondering if the acting was bad or if it was the script that was bad at some point I thought oh, maybe it's both or maybe it's just the actors are good but the scripts are 
is not that great um, maybe it's a wanted um, a result and yeah I'm not quite sure about that I wrote about the uh, host of the show is an arrogant know-it-all host and what I didn't write about him was that um, just a swear word it was like it's a bit of a prick basically um, yeah, it's like I said, it's a, it's a noise or it's like, no, nah, I don't want to do it this way, I want to do it this way. Just listen to me, alright? Uh, that kind of person gets angry when people are not listening to him. Uh, about that movie, also, this movie made me think of the game The Evil Within Us. Because The Evil Within Us, if you don't know the game, is set also when it starts in a uh, sanatorium. And then if the main character needs to found uh, one of the patients and some of the scenes, there's some of the scenes where they're trying to, um, not trying to, there's a scene in which it's like, like not like a surgery, but there's some like, some stuff happening, surgery, surgi in a surgical way. And that made me think of the, um, one of the opening sequence of the uh, of the game and that actually I quite enjoyed it uh, watching it because uh, they will within us game it's a really really good game it's a game so good that it makes me feel bad uh, so yeah uh, in that sense Grave Encounters was good so what I thought also about the movie is that at first um, I was thinking maybe it's the staff of the hospital trying to prank uh, visitors so having visitors pay them so they can spend the night in the sanatorium and then they play jokes on them they prank them uh, but then I thought maybe it's the once upon a time patient of the uh, of the hospital who are trying to uh, get new patient uh, in the hospital uh, with them and in that I was thinking maybe now is the Prosecutor who became the prosecutor, um, so the perpetrator of a uh, horrible thing because that's one of the things the patient in that hospital were very, very uh, not treated well. Um, they have uh, some experience done on them, and yeah, it seems like a pretty horrible place to be a patient of. And in that sense, the grave encounter is good, but overall. I was about to say, I was saying that yeah I will I keep this short sorry it's a bit long um but overall yeah it's uh, I don't know uh, yeah I glad I watched the movie to um uh, have an idea of uh, my own of my own uh, glad that uh, Arnold uh, recommended this movie to me and what also that's quite interesting about the movie is that they keep on going in around it's like they, so they've been tried by the well they've been locked in by the staff but they're trying to get out because they just want to go home and they keep uh each exit they take is not the right one it looks like they've been already to that place and it keeps on going like that for a while uh, which is quite good but oh yeah like like i was saying overall i don't know if um i would have watched it if some no one would have uh, recommended it to me to be honest uh so i don't know if uh, you should watch it or not if you want it's like i said it feels long but it is actually an hour and a half uh, so if you have an hour and a half to spare yeah do watch it if you like those um those kind of movies with the supernatural stuff there's not that too many jump scares and if they are they're really not scary um yeah do watch that movie uh if you decide to watch that movie do let me know please what you think about in the comments down below um because maybe because it's 2 a.m like i said and i don't know what to think anymore uh or maybe because i need to watch that movie also there's a grave in contest too and what arnold's told me about it is that it complements the the first grave encounter so maybe i'm gonna try and watch the uh, grave encounters too to see if i can understand grave encounters number one better uh, but if you do before me do tell me in the comments and also something i'm gonna try and to do uh, something new uh, i will put a link uh, down below in the description of uh, vocabulary around 
the movie I just watched and some so around the about the movie and around the uh, theme of the movie so this theme is a ghost supernatural stuff so uh, just so you can learn some new English vocabulary uh, if you found this helpful tell me in the comments uh, give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click that noti on that notification bell to receive notification of uh, when I post new videos uh, share the video on your social media and I will see you soon bye